because you're looking forward to the results that you are going to receive, the results that you are going to feel, and the rewards that you are going to get for showing up for yourself. What's up with it? What's going on? It's your girl Nelly here from Fit Life Lit Life. Fit Life Lit Life is a self care brand focused around mental and physical fitness. I just bring inspiring, encouraging, and motivating content to help you help yourself get out of your own way, show up for yourself, self care in real life, in real time, in a real way, and just elevate you and have fun during the process of your elevation. Okay. This video is a this video is a little bit overdue, but I just want to get into it and talk about treating yourself. Make sure that you are rewarding yourself and you are treating yourself when you get things accomplished. I just recently took myself on a solo trip and it was a treat to myself because I got good grades in school. And I said every semester that I show up for myself without cheating, without excuses, and I really be disciplined and I'm faithful and I am determined in what it is that I'm doing and I have a finish line I have a lap to finish and I complete that lap I'm gonna make sure that I treat myself and give myself something so something that I did was get my hair done and I took myself on a solo trip and I happened to go to Vegas now treating yourself doesn't have to be something that is very big or you got to spend thousands of dollars you could even do something that's cook yourself a nice good healthy hearty meal you can just cash out on a 50 60 dollar steak and go cook that at home you know what i'm saying get on youtube see how to cook it because you don't want to mess that steak up because you're gonna do your whole night off you know what i'm saying but whatever it is treat yourself there are so many reasons why you should treat yourself you getting things done you getting things accomplished you seeing things through for yourself is another reason why you should treat yourself being a woman or a man of your word to yourself is the reason why you should treat yourself. Treating yourself for doing the things that you said you were gonna do and seeing things through for yourself brings a great deal of confidence as well. It also prevents burnout. It builds your confidence. It builds self-esteem. It reminds you of what you are capable of and it allows you to get out of your own way mentally so that you can get to it physically and hit your goals and see those results for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know for me that treating myself holds me accountable right so i know that when i finish x y and z i get to buy experience and go to x y and z because of the way that i showed up for me if that makes sense don't get off it with me now watch yourself all right thank you it holds me accountable it gives me something to look forward to it gives me reminders that there's something on the other side of this. You know what I'm saying? What treating yourself can look like for you is making you feel good, it's building confidence. It's understanding and knowing that sky is the limit, that time is on your side if you allow it to be and you invest in yourself properly. Investing yourself within is gonna shine on the outside with your skin, with your walk, your talk, the way you get down with yourself, your hair, your edges, you know what I'm saying? Just all of that, okay? I just feel like people don't show up for themselves enough and people are treating themselves for things that they aren't quite deserving of you know what i'm saying and is that self-care that you treating yourself because you're running from things and then you regretting and having buyer's remorse after you went out to sunday fun day after you went to brunch after you bought that bag after you bought those shoes and now you're just feeling like what am I doing? I need to get my life together. I need to get my priorities together. I need to get my ish together. You know what I'm saying? And that's just something that's not how you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? That can cause low self-esteem and it can cause, you know, self-destruction. It can cause you to not believe in yourself. It can cause lack of faith because you are not treating yourself properly you are not treating and rewarding yourself responsibly so what does treating yourself look like you know what i'm saying treating yourself looks like you losing or gaining that 10 pounds that you wanted to lose or gain losing or gaining that 20 pounds that you wanted to lose or gain treating yourself to some new activewear let's say for example it's the set you've been wanting from nike it's 150 dollars. you like uh -uh, i'm not spending all that for that but it'll make more sense when you gain that 20 pounds you wanted to gain when you put on that 10 pounds of muscle when you put on It'll make more sense to buy the set because now it's like, oh, I lost 15 pounds. Oh, I put on 10 pounds of muscle. You know what I'm saying? I'm really looking like her. I'm really feeling like him out here. You know what I'm saying? So buying the active wear set is more of a reward to you. So it feels like I'm deserving. I, I am deserving of this. I'm, I'm done with Planet Fitness. 
I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up to this other gym I've been wanting to go to. More luxury, yes, $80 a month, but it's more of an investment. The saunas are better. The crowd that I'm around is better. The hours of the gym are better. The equipment is better. They have fitness classes that I can join. They have a swimming pool, steam room, sauna. There are so many more options. So let me go ahead and invest in myself and instead of paying this 10 or $20 a month at PF, I'm gonna go ahead and bust this $80 a month at luxury fitness. Another reward of treating yourself could look like an intentional solo dinner, right? So I'm not talking about, oh, I was running errands and then you want to post like, oh, I'm hungry. And then you just grab a bite to eat and you might sit in there or you might take it to go and be like, oh, solo day. It's like, nah, because you was already out running errands and you just got hungry. When I say intentional, you could have been chilling at the house all day. You wasn't doing nothing, okay? You was in the house washing clothes, munching on bonbons, chips, dip, watching ID channel and oxygen all day, okay? You made yourself a reservation for seven, or maybe you're gonna walk into the bar and sit down about seven, eight o'clock. But this is intentional, it's planned. You actually got up and got dressed for this moment. You actually got up and got dressed to take yourself out. Intentional solo dates, intentional quality time, not running errands, and flowing with it and going with the day and grabbing a bite to eat. No, no, no. Let me get over right here. Another good example of you rewarding yourself or treating yourself could also be you sticking to your plan. You sticking to your budget. You said, I'm finna go on a six month run. I'm not spending no money. If it's not hygiene, if it's not transportation to and from work, if it's not groceries for the week, cause I'm not buying out, I'm not buying food. I'm not buying out, I'm not buying fast food. For six months, I'm finna stack every dime I got. And you actually stuck to that and was a woman or man of your word to yourself and you seen that through. You are now rewarding to treat yourself. And treat yourself to where you're not finna break the bank, blow the bank, and put a dent into what you saved. You might even treat yourself and take all that money that you saved and invest it into your business. That's a treat. It's a treat and it's also like more of a financial fitness because you're investing in yourself financially by trying to create wealth and a success plan for yourself that could be longevity. Look, show up for yourself. Treat yourself. Take care of yourself. Get up and get to it. You know what I'm saying? When I finish out this semester with school, yes, because baby, I'm getting straight A's. Nothing less than a B. I don't even want a B minus. If it's a B minus and under, I don't deserve nothing. Okay, because I'm not playing about me when it come to me. The word of the year that I chose for 2024 was knowledge. I'm applying everything I know and I'm inhaling new knowledge and new information. Okay, I am in a season of knowledge. I'm reading books. I'm in school. Oh, shoot. I took the wrong turn. Oh, well, I'm, I'm in school. I am really showing up for me and I really strongly encourage you to show up for you always make sure that you are treating yourself when you treat yourself like i said it also it prevents burnout you also build healthy habits you build confidence you are more sure and certain of yourself you build faith within yourself and the higher power that you believe in i believe in god so building faith within that you build self-awareness you build a connection with yourself you really just get to this point where it's like you're not even talking no more. You're showing up and getting to it because you're looking forward to the results that you are going to receive, the results that you are going to feel, and the rewards that you are going to get for showing up for yourself. So look, that's all I want to say. Show up for yourself. Don't let nobody feel bad about you showing up for you. Really show up and rock with you for you in real life, in real time, in a real way. Every area reflects on each other. When you feel good physically, you feel good mentally, spiritually, emotionally financially and your overall being of self-care and life is just flourishing you feel good you feel great baby you looking good and a couple of them out there might be hating but it is what it is it's a them problem not yours okay look inspire encourage motivate them and tell them the tricks that you're doing along the way i know it be sounding real little and cliche but the smallest impact make the biggest change on our life show up for yourself ignore the noise ignore the distractions the things that you are doing now if it's not adding to you if it's not making money and it's not making sense for your now and future self let it go be done with it the mindset the people you're dealing with show up for you do what you want to do do what you need to do so you can do more of what you want to do later and reward yourself along the way give yourself credit treat yourself to nice things but do it responsibly because you don't have to blow the bank 
to reward yourself and make yourself feel good, baby. You can do something like buy some new home decor. And that's something that'll make you feel great. You know what I'm saying? I've seen this through. I'm going to go to Home Goods and get that new centerpiece that I wanted for my table. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I want to say. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Until the next one, I holla.